Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss piano axioms and piano axioms, axioms we use to define uh, natural numbers and you know that natural numbers is just a set with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and etc. Uh, what is the goal of piano axioms? We know that uh, for natural numbers we have addition, for example, you have 1 plus 2 equals to 3. So it means we're going to get two natural numbers, add them, and we're going to get number three, which is also a natural number. Also, we know about for natural numbers that we have multiplication. So two times three equals to six. So you take two natural numbers, multiply them, and you will get natural number six. Uh, what kind of other properties do we know? We know if we have like two plus three, it equals three plus two equals to five. So we say it's this, uh, this uh, it's, it's commutative. So it's called commutativity. Also, we know if I'm going to add one plus two, and then I'm going to add three, or I'm going to add one uh, and two by three, I'm going to add first, and then I'm going to add one. It's called associativity. And and etc. And also we have, for example, another law. We have distribution laws that. Uh, we have 2 times 3 plus 4 equals 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. So we know all these laws, but can we figure out a couple of axioms from which we can deduce all these laws, from which we can deduce and define uh, the addition operation or define the multiplication? Uh, uh, when we're going to get commutativity, associativity, or distribution law. And what uh, piano axioms provide, they actually provide such tool. So, uh, what is a piano axioms? Um, I'm going to start with the first one. And the first one saying, let's denote n as our set. And in this set, we're going to have an element 1, it's like kind of formal 1 which we're saying that 1 belongs to our n. So in other words, we're saying that our set n is non-empty. For second axiom, we have that there exists function uh, sigma from n to n. Oh, sorry. And the second one is that there exists a uh, function sigma from n to n. The third axiom that uh, my sigma is injective. So in other words, saying if I have sigma of x equals sigma of y, from here follows that x equals to y. My fourth axiom saying that uh, there doesn't exist uh, any element n belongs to n, such that uh, sigma of n equals to 1. So in other words, we're saying that sigma is not subjective. And the last axiom, the most important one, it's called induction. So basically I'm saying if I have a subset of n, subset f, which is subset of n, and for this subset I have uh, the following properties. First, 1 belongs to s, and I know that uh, for every element n which is belong to s, I have that sigma of n also belongs to s. Then by using these two properties, I will get, then I can say then, uh, I can conclude, I'm going to separate this one, that my s is actually equals to n. Okay, and you can see you have five laws, and from these five laws, we can uh, construct natural numbers n, which is like 1, 2, 3, and etc., with all properties. And this is the beauty properties. And this is the beauty of piano axioms. Thank you for watching.